Hello everyone, how are you all doing? So this is Titi here and on behalf of Biotechnica, I am here to present you Unit 11 of CSIR Net Life Sciences. So guys, if you are preparing for CSIR Net Life Sciences, so you already know that the syllabus has been divided into different units. So today I am here to tell you everything about CSIR Net Life Science Unit 11. So I'm going to talk about the important topics as well as the reference books that you can refer for this unit that will help you in your preparation for CSIR net. So let's get started. Yes, so what is this unit 11? So the name of the unit 11 is evolution and behavior. Okay, so what all thing it comprises of? Definitely it comprises of all the evolutionary theories, okay, all the theories of different scientists and uh, about the evolution. Then it also comprises of the abiotic synthesis, like how life originated on earth, okay, on a planet where there was no life, so how the first cell was formed. And from there, how the complexity of life form that we see now in present, how that is formed. So, it comprises everything about evolution, okay, how the different species, the different genuses, different uh, kingdoms of organisms, they have evolved on earth, okay. But that is not only thing in, in unit 11, if unit 11 comprises of uh, this another uh, concept which is behavior okay so yes it comprises of the evolution of different species different groups but that is that will simply be taxonomy also but it is not only that here we also talk about the various animal behavior what has been how they it has evolved like parental care okay or like foraging okay or uh, staying in a group okay the group the species who which stay in a group why do they stay in a group the species which uh, which try uh, which uh, for uh, who prefer to live alone why do they live alone okay so these are all animal behaviors okay some groups they try to stay together where they do sacrifices for others okay whereas some groups they just want to stay alone okay and live alone so these are all animal behaviors so here we also talk about how those animal behaviors have evolved and what has been the cost or what has been the benefit of those kind of behaviors okay then we also talk about the various learning methods okay like uh, uh, habituation or operant conditioning or classical conditioning so these are all different learning methods and how those learning methods okay how that is imbibed in our genes in our uh, behavior so everything about that we talk about this uh, in this unit of unit 11 Okay, now, yes, definitely question comes, why should you prepare unit 11? Now, often in the class when I go and ask students like, are you preparing unit 11? Most of the time I get the answer that no, we are not. See, I will suggest that do not skip unit 11. There are certain reasons for that. Definitely, I'm going to tell you about that. So, that is why I'm going to tell you that why you should not skip unit 11 for your preparation. Okay, maybe you don't do it as well as you have to do unit 1 or unit 30. That is understood. I completely get it. Okay. But do not skip unit 11. Okay. Why? Come on. It's about evolution. And I know evolution is something that you have studied from school. Okay. Evolution is a topic which has been introduced to us in school. Maybe in ninth or even 8th standard. Right. Miller's experiment is something that you have learned and learned and learned for this many years. Correct? So, it is about evolution. You have studied it. So, this topic is not difficult. Okay? So, it is not at all difficult. Yes, there are few concepts which are, uh, you have to have an in-depth knowledge of it. But most of the thing, it's like a story. Okay? So, it's just like reading a storybook and remembering the things. Okay? You just cannot forget it. And again, so it is evolution that you have studied for so long. It is quite easy. So, something you should not skip okay now definitely it is highly interesting topic and the scoring unit as well okay now interesting definitely because it tells us like 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 as a layman also like even the people who are not from the science background i'm very sure they also get uh they also wonder okay like how life has emerged on earth 
right? It's so like uh, my 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 six year old uh, kids. They will also ask me, uh, like Mama, how the first cell was formed. Okay, so now definitely I cannot tell them in this much detail, but I try to make it more simple for them. So you can see, like from our uh, childhood only, we have this particular uh, sense, particular uh, query, question, like how life was formed on earth, right? So definitely this topic is interesting. I tell you, and I get that from the many students in the class also. Like even the ones who said that they will skip uh, unit 11 but when we start and when I start teaching in the class then they will be like yes ma'am it's very interesting can we keep continuing it so but then again we have a um, limitation so we cannot keep continuing the topic but yes there are so many things to discuss so many things to learn and it's amazing how everything comes together so definitely it's an interesting topic now scoring unit why scoring because most of the concepts you are easy okay and most of the things you just have to memorize okay very uh, few some concepts are there that you have to understand okay and uh, i'll talk about that in the important topics list and rest of the things you have to memorize okay now definitely if you are good with your memory unit 11 is for you now it is quite some important topics from where questions are asked in exam okay now see the the, the exam pattern that is followed now is has started from 2010 so from 2010 to 23 uh, let's say 13 years okay so in those 13 years there are few topics from this unit where every time question comes from okay so do you think it is like when you know that for sure from this part question will come do you think it's brave to leave those questions I don't think so, okay. In CSI paper, which is becoming tougher and tougher and unpredictable. So, in that, if you if you know that from a topic, for sure, question is going to come, I say that for sure you should go for it, okay. So, definitely this unit has such subtopics, okay. Now, what, uh, what is the number of questions that we can expect? So, uh, uh, definitely there will be part B and part C questions. Uh, so, we can expect four to five part B questions and three to four part C questions for sure from unit 11. Okay. So in total, we can expect around seven to nine questions from unit 11. Okay. So I think you should do this, right? And again, as I'm telling you that if you think that you don't want to do the entire unit 11, so some of the topics you have already studied before. Okay. Some of the things you just have to uh, learn little bit in more detail okay from whatever you have already known and some topics which are very important just do just do them okay and unit 11 will be a unit that you have covered also faster okay and you will be ready for all this seven to nine questions in the paper now i will show you the list of the important topics from this unit so one uh, very uh, uh, one one common type of question which comes from this unit is match the following kind of question okay so there will be a table there will be column and you have to match okay now in match the following kind of question the uh, one uh, one question which is usually asked is scientist and the theories of evolution okay so that is definitely very important okay darwin lamarck and you this thing that you already know okay maybe some few scientists that knows those names you will uh, you will know now like right or um, motu kimura like that okay then uh, types of natural selection like directional stabilizing and disruptive questions come in the graphical format also in data format in tabulation format also also questions come from the understanding of the models of evolution like trilateral gradualism and punctuated equilibrium then there are some important terms that you should know like adaptive radiation, endosymbiotic theory, genetic drift. Lot of questions do come from the understanding of this term genetic drift. Okay. Then homologous and analogous uh, structures, evolutionary fitness and all. Then the types of evolution like convergent, divergent, parallel and also the difference between them and along with that example okay example in species so when you read this convergent divergent and parallel evolution along with that the examples also you will read right which two species are showing convergent evolution like that okay 
Then the concept of speciation. Okay, so different types of speciation: allopatric, peripatric, parapatric. Okay, now questions can be direct questions where they directly give you that this is a type of speciation happening. What is that type? Okay, so it can be like that, or they can give you a situation that there was a grove and then suddenly a, a a river starts flowing through that population. Now the population is divided into two different groups, and they are eventually they uh, form new species. what kind of speciation is that right so those kind of those kind of part c application kind of questions do come then you should have an understanding of how to read and make small phylogenetic trees okay see usually when we talk about the phylogenetic trees so there are different uh, softwares nowadays different bioinformatic tools for making that so definitely that is not expected from you in the exam but yes if a data is given about four to five species Uh, will you be able to, and the and the relationship between them is given so will you be able to make the phylogenetic tree or the vice versa like if the phylogenetic tree is given will you be able to read the uh, the read the uh, conclusion out of it okay now one important thing in this unit is this geological time scale and it is completely memory based okay so which era which period and what is their order what is the important thing that has happened in that particular uh, period, geological time is something which is very important lot of questions come from here in part c okay so now how you can do it so definitely it is memory based but yes uh you can take help of various mnemonics to remember this entire thing very easily next you should have a concept clarity on founders effect and bottleneck effect now another topic okay so another topic which is very very important from this unit is hardy weinberg equilibrium okay so i was telling you right like from last 14 years this topic has remained important yes and yes it has remain important so it can be the theory as well as numerical okay so what is the statement what are the assumptions okay when which are the condition in which the equilibrium has to uh, will be disturbed will not follow okay and definitely the numericals related to it so this is some topic which you cannot skip always always do it okay and finally the last part which is about the behavior okay so altruism that is self sacrifice for the benefit of others okay so how, when and how that behavior evolved or what is the benefit of that behavior okay and another uh, topic from this behavior from where questions always come is mating and parental care okay especially in case of birds okay what, what amount of parental care they will show what are the mating rituals what will be their behavior okay so this is also something that you have to do it so if this are the list of the unit 11 uh, topics so can definitely i will mark them start the The, the 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 very important one so definitely the scientist and the various theories so this is easy also and you can do it very nicely you can imagine the following questions come so that is the easiest questions to take up right because like if there are four given in a column so you just have to match two or uh, three maximum and you will get your answer right there will be an only option with that all, all three correct matches okay so these are the important topics guys for csir net life science unit 11 and do prepare them do not skip unit 11 this will be maybe the Uh, the deciding factor between you and the non qualifiers right okay now coming to the reference books that you can follow so these are the list of the different reference books that you can follow uh, strickberger's evolution definitely an excellent book to follow okay apart from that i find this campbell's biology is also a very good book okay this one with uh, uh, biology by solomon berg and martin is also a good book to follow okay now see uh, many a times people uh, like if you just th read the theory theory especially in, i mean not about the origin part okay but yeah the 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 paleontological history history is boring is it not okay so uh, so many people find it boring because there are a lot of things to remember now how can you make it interesting by making it more colorful by giving more pictures right by 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 reading more pictures by giving more um, uh, real life uh, examples right from behavior like animal behavior okay so if i give you an example about imprinting that you have seen ducks the, the ducklings will also always follow follow the ducks right so why they are following the duck so that is a behavior okay it's called imprinting there is a scientific name for it also that's called imprinting 
okay so so this real life ex uh, examples when we study and we link to the various concepts so what happens we will remember the concept also better and we will find it interesting also okay now in that direction i will say that this book by uh, mark uh, ridley um, evolution it is a good book okay but it is little boring you might find it little boring because concepts and everything are there okay but it is not as colorful as the other books okay so in that case if you want to make it more interesting so if you already have an interest in evolution this is an excellent book to follow but if you are developing your interest okay you want to uh, create your interest then definitely i will say that any of these three books will be good okay now in unit 11 there is a topic of population genetics okay from where the hardy winberg equilibrium is also there so for population genetics i have not mentioned here because uh, population genetics part yes you will get it in this books also but in more detail you will get in any of the standard genetics books okay so definitely you can follow our uh, biotechnica's video on unit 8 okay so the reference books that will be mentioned there so those reference books okay they are, will be good for doing this population genetics part okay so there you will understand the concept you and along with that you will get many questions also which will help you in uh, practicing the application of those concepts okay guys so remember it's always seems impossible until it's done and it is true for any work okay any job that you have so guys do not give up start unit 11 today itself and i have given you the important things for that, that you have to study from where you can study okay and if you need any further help yes biotechnica we are always here thank you everyone and all the best for your csir net life science preparation thank you everybody